Welcome back to Fire to Fork. I have got a ripper spot here on the beach and I am going to cook up, you'll never believe it, never done anything like this before, steak and potatoes with a beer. So, yes, I have managed to figure out another way, fun way to make steak and potatoes because it's just my favorite combination of things in the world. Except for that steak and toast I did, that might even be a better one, but anyway. I saw this on the internet and I just really wanted to try it. Um, so we'll get into the interesting part in a minute, but first I want to make a little sauce before this charcoal gets a little bit too hot. And I've got a bit of creme fraiche here. And you grab about, I'm going to use about half of this. This is probably the easiest steak sauce I know other than just plain mustard. Probably going to use all this mustard. This is just a Dijon mustard. Chuck that in the heat. I'm gonna chuck in a bit of pepper. Touch of salt. And we're just gonna kind of combine this. I'm doing this early because I wanna use this pan for the other bit. We're gonna cook, the only thing that's gonna get used in this whole um, video is just gonna be this pan and the grill. I've had this pan for many years. So it has seen some stuff. Still just works though, it just works. Mm, yum. All right, that's pretty much all you need to do. Just kind of liquefy it. You're not trying to cook it down or anything. It's got a good consistency. And I'm going to put it in a stainless steel, uninsulated cup. Probably spilling it a lot of the time. The reason I'm doing it, going to do an uninsulated cup is because I'm going to heat it up later. So I always like to just be able to put this little cup back on the grill to heat it up. I probably could have made the whole thing in a cup. It's just that it's hard to stir because it's so small. All right, let that fire get a little bit hotter. Wash this up and I'll come back. All right. It's probably a bit too much oil, but it's also no, not really such a thing when you're going to fry something. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get some potatoes and I'm going to get one of these things which I don't know what it's called, but I'll put it up on the screen. I've just got a set of them. Um, and it's a like thing that does, makes these little strings of whatever, carrot, potato, any vegetable you're peeling, fingers, whatever you like really. And that's what I'm aiming for, a bunch of these. Well, that's getting very hot very fast. It's already 160. Well, in that case, I'm gonna do a test batch. So, I'm gonna get this, squeeze all the moisture out of it, and just chuck it in the oil. Very bubbly because there's still quite a bit of moisture in there. But we'll see how they turn out. I reckon this is gonna be great. Combining strips of potato with oil, I've just, I've never had a bad time with that. Now, I've got a, the freshest potato I could find in like fact, the guy was actually putting these out of the bag into the supermarket shelf when I got it. So it's a quite a hard potato. Okay, that's probably enough. So most of a large spud. Now don't like, don't try and like dry these in the sun or anything like that, because they'll just go brown and gross. <coughs> I'm probably better off wringing these out in a tea towel or something, but I'm just gonna see if they work like this first. Why are these tied together? Like beginner's chopsticks. Oh. Look at that, it's all just moving as one like bit of lace. Oh, incredible. And this oil will be totally fine to just decant back into that. Fancy plate. Now, I always pick my plate color based on my food color. So because I know I'm gonna have a nice white or pale sauce underneath my food. Oh my God, look at that. This is incredible. I've picked a dark plate. It's a, oh my God, seriously. I'm going to call that a massive success. 
and I'm going to call that an oil fire. All right, I think it's time for me to st start cooking my steak. <clears throat> uh, I was at the butcher the other day and I saw a beautiful piece of Wagyu and because I am powerless to Wagyu, I bought the piece of Wagyu. Well, I bought two pieces of Wagyu, one for now, one for later. But seriously, look at that marbling. It's an 8-9 sirloin, 8-9 marble score sirloin. <clears throat> Usual drill with all my steaks. I do the same thing. Ooh. Same thing. Pat it dry. If I had been had more forethought, I would have seasoned it earlier. But salt, freshly ground back black pepper. You can do the other side while it's on there. Heaps of heat. Now when I'm camping, I always say you should try and make everything serve two purposes. This serves one purpose, but it's a pretty damn good purpose. Uh, it also weighs nothing, I don't think it costs very much, and um, I could not be bothered doing that with a, um, with a knife. So I flipped that steak after about less than a minute. I've been starting to use chopsticks more and more for my cooking. And rocket kit on YouTube he gave me the idea and he had just had such a good point he was like well they're really light they don't rust they're imminently replaceable like why wouldn't you use chopsticks I was like you know, you're totally right particularly because he does a lot of fishing stuff well he does fishing stuff um, it's so sensible to just use chopsticks for only for light stuff obviously like if I've got big stuff I use tongs but oh my wordy that can come off and rest. Oh, that's risky. Okay. Now the trick here, I'm trying to use as few plates as possible. Get rid of some of the oil. Trick here to making it look really cool is, I won't burn that. You pour your sauce on, it's hot. Okay. You get your steak, you cut it up on an angle so you can see that it's perfectly cooked. I don't check my steaks anymore, I cooked that many. I know this is perfectly cooked. And then you lay it on the plate. Oh. Should just do it as all as one. Like that, and then we're going to use this like a garnish. Or should it go off the side? I think it should go off the side. Oh, yeah, that's it. And you can still kind of see the steak. I suck at plating. All right, gratuitous B roll of that. I'm so pumped about eating this. Okay, steak. Oh. How can it be bad, right? How can this possibly be bad? On what planet is any part of this gonna be bad? This is the greatest tool for camping in the world. Oh my God. Yes, 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 yes. It's creamy, steak is beautiful and tender. The chips are just, I mean, look at them. They're light and fluffy and crunchy and potatoey. And it goes incredibly with beer. <clears throat> well, just do this. 
This is the easiest steak and chips with, with homemade chips I've ever done. I'm gonna make this for dinner tonight. Mm. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and make this, just, just make it.